Fire. Every year, more than 40,000 accidental house fires in England result in the deaths of 285 people and 9,000 injuries. The government responsible for fire and rescue services in England are aiming to reduce fire-related deaths 20% by the 31st of March 2010. With thousands of flammable materials in every house, office, factory and vehicle in the world, the task of preventing fire seems impossible until now. One man has developed a revolutionary chemical formula making many highly flammable materials completely fireproof. For over 15 years, Mike Keenan has been relentlessly experimenting with chemicals in the confines of his garden shed, all with the aim of creating a fireproof gel. The gel he formulated can be applied to materials or lay it as a coating to hundreds of products. Uh, right, this is just a normal piece of polystyrene tile, yeah? Polystyrene melts. If you if this was made into a cup and you drop you see people drop a cigarette in a cup, mm. um, the first thing that happens is it falls out the bottom, you know? And this end here, because this is polystyrene and it's, it shows that this is made from three laminations of a reel or a roll of polystyrene that you would normally use as insulation of walls in your home. This is what it's got to withstand at the moment to pass a British test, yeah? So well, that is the best we got. So we've got to put it on this end. That's it over me, and you just see the temperature. It zoomed up to about 1,100 degrees centigrade. And this is three laminations of polystyrene. Well, just keep your knees up in it. But once you get through, as a barrier, that, as far as I'm concerned, is pretty good. Mike's determination and fascination with creating fireproof gels earned him the Best Inventor and Invention of the Year Award 2004. Entirely self-taught, Mike's accomplishments are nothing less than astonishing. Over here I've got a piece of uh, urethane foam. Again, I'll wrap it up all nice, quite to keep stuff clean. But urethane foam, if, if you're a three-piece sweet caught fire in your home, you'll be dead in three minutes. If the back seat of your car caught fire and you couldn't get out, you would be dead in 35 seconds because this is hardly any volume of air in there. So you're going to die that quick. On this end, that is what you've got. <coughs> oh, excuse me. That is what you've got in your set at the moment. That's how good it's got to be, yeah? And your three pieces have got that, you know? So that's the stuff left. But this is what I've done for it. Now that's, that's a bit different. So that's the one end, dangerous, that's the other end. Let me show you some more stuff here. What else we got here? This material is, is, is called polyurethane fun, uh, no, um, polyester resin. This is what they used to make rowing boats out of and uh, um, devil boys with iron and car. Made of it. You see with iron and car go up, my goodness. And they catch fire because they made of this stuff so flammable. So if you had it made of this stuff, now that is not only not burning, it's not transferring the heat. So I mean, now most plastics have got a melt, they've got a bend, they've got a twist, they've got a burn. At a recent visit to Ideas 21, Mike demonstrated the sheer magnitude of his invention as he applied his gel into the palm of an audience member then set a burning blue torch directly onto her hand. As I said, this, this is a thousand degrees, and that's just all the car grease on there, and that should be transferred through. It should have cooked Linda down by now. At over a thousand degrees centigrade, her hand remained completely unharmed. Sure, uh, that what you're doing is going to save a lot of people's lives. Oh, 
Um, but what really gets my back up is when people like you have devoted literally your, your life yes. into something and the country that is so great, Great Britain, yeah. can't identify unique people like yourself yeah. and back them for the world to appreciate British talent. I've, I've, I've written to Margaret Thatcher and I got a letter back from her. Not a letter, a little card. This was going back when Margaret Thatcher was in power. And it said, your letter has been passed to the appropriate minister and he will be getting in touch with me. Well, he's taking a long time. <laughs> 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 The limits of Mike's invention are yet to be set. He continues on his one-man quest to outdo his previous triumph. One thing is certain, Mike's inventions will go on to prevent future tragedies like the many so fresh in our minds.